Hey guys, maybe some of you have noticed that I've changed my tagline, um, how I describe myself online. And, uh, you know, I know I'm a cartoonist and I'm a writer and I'm an artist and a sculptor and an online community facilitator and speaker and, you know, all this kind of thing. But <clears throat> what I really love to do, what all these things serve, is my love for helping people create a new life for themselves beyond belief and you know I I love the create part because uh, I'm an artist and I use creativity to help us uh, transform ourselves change ourselves and also I like the beyond belief part because it has that double entendre of uh, beyond uh, belief as we know it and also that we can create a new life for ourselves beyond our dreams, our wildest dreams. And I know that's true. I'm not just like talking uh, flowery language and woo-woo talk because, you know, it's in. I, I, I've seen it in my own life where I've actually recreated my life, changed myself, recreated myself. And I love helping people do that. A lot of people think it's not possible or it's terrifying or there's too many obstacles or they can't do it or they don't have the nerve. I help people. I help people do it. I've helped a lot of people do it. And it's fun and exciting to watch people change their lives. And, um, but there's, there's, uh, you know, and I do that in coaching and in small groups and in the lasting supper, all that, you guys know all about that. I, I assume by now, but, um, I'm, I'm, I do it differently than a lot of people. See, I, I, I like to help people grow without rejecting their past, okay? I, I love helping people change radical, radical renewal, radical transformation in their lives, but not, you don't have to reject your past, okay? Like, I'm not the same guy I was 10 years ago, I'll admit it, but in many ways, I am still David, <laughs> the guy. Who was around 10 years ago I, I keep a journal I know all about it I read my journals 10 20 years ago and I think I've made a lot of progress and I read my journals like holy crap I'm basically still the same person so there is something that changes but there's something that stays the same and I like helping people who are lost in their faith and don't know what to believe anymore and they don't know if they believe in God and they don't know that they that they feel guilty because they don't want to go to church anymore and they don't know if they're Christian and they really wrestle with that because it's terrifying it's you know it's so difficult to deal with that and I'm I, I like to tell people calm down don't worry you don't have to reject anything okay don't reject anything just just grow and the stuff that remains it has value and the stuff that falls away or you know becomes less important or drips off or whatever don't worry about it and and don't force anything so that's so important, you know. I just had somebody write me last week, like, what do I do about all that stuff I believe? And I feel so stupid and ashamed and I did things I regret. And what do I do with all that? And I'm like, don't, don't worry about it. Just, okay, forgive yourself, but move on. You know, our, our, my past, it's like we grow out of the soil of our, of our past. We grow out of our soil. And what is soil but dirt and shit, manure, compost. That's what compost is, okay? It's a mixture of dirt and manure. And you put those together and you get this rich, nutrish, uh, nutritious soil, okay? And that's what our lives are made up. You can't just have pure soil and you can't just have pure shit. You need the mixture. And this, this is what... You know, I look back at my life and yeah, there's a lot of things I, I don't believe the same way anymore. I don't do the same things anymore. I don't have the same values or embrace the same things. But that's okay. I, I value the child or the younger man that I was then. I, I wouldn't reject that person if I met him now. I respect them and their journey. And so I re respect myself and my journey. I... I felt I was doing the right thing at that time. I felt I was believing the right things at that time. So I respect that about myself. It's okay. I don't have to reject him. 
I, I embrace him. He's a part of who I am. I just didn't spring up out of bed this morning a brand new person, although, yes, I did. I'm a new creation every day, just like you are. But what's the soil that I'm emerging out of, that I'm sprouting out of? But my own, my own past with all the shit and all the good stuff, all that mixture in, you know? And so I help people with that. Like people come to me and they want to talk or they want me to coach them. They're like, they're terrified. I'm afraid of becoming an atheist or what if I don't believe in Jesus anymore? I love Jesus and I want to keep believing in Jesus or, you know, the church and blah, blah, blah going on. And it's like, don't relax, relax. Don't worry about it. You know, just, just grow. Don't, don't, you know, point your gun at any one certain thing and try to destroy that or reject that or keep that or what. Just, just be, just be. And the good stuff, the stuff that needs to remain will remain and the stuff that doesn't will sort of get folded in to who you are and it will disappear. You won't smell that stench anymore, but it'll be in there somewhere, but it, 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 it will lose its power, you know? So, that's, that's why I love doing what I do. I love, I, I help people just embrace themselves and their journey. They don't have to reject themselves, their earlier selves. They don't have to feel stupid or ashamed or regretful. They can just forgive themselves or embrace themselves like, like I do. I'm, you know, I'm 60 years old. I, I look back on my life and I, I've been in a lot of different, but you wouldn't believe the stories I have and the places I've been and the churches I've been involved in and the spirituality I've embraced and, you know, you crazy, crazy shit, okay? Seriously. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, I'm so embarrassed, you know? I reject that. I reject that stuff. I don't believe it anymore. Well, no, I don't do that, and I don't encourage anybody to do that. If you do that, fine. That's your business. But I don't encourage the people I coach to do that, and I don't, I don't do that for myself. Just, okay, that's part of my story, you know? And in, in my book of life, that's a part of my, that's one of the chapters, and it, you wouldn't understand who I am now unless you read that chapter. If you skip that chapter, it would, I wouldn't make sense to you now. So it's the same with you. Look, you got stuff in your past. You're wrestling with some beliefs right now. You're wrestling with some of the things you value or thought you valued. and Some things are falling away and you're losing your sense of commitment to this or that or the other thing. And you're all confused and things are dark and you're feeling ashamed and embarrassed and guilty and afraid. I, I know, I know. Don't worry. Just look, just grow, just grow. And the stuff that needs to stay will stay and the stuff that needs to get folded in will get folded in. And, you know, that's what I'm, that's what I love to do. That's what my art's about. My cartoons are about everything. I, I'm not, look, people are mistaken when they think I hate religion or hate the church or hate Christianity or Christians. It's totally false. They're reading me superficially. They do not look at me with wisdom <laughs> because I, I do not reject any of that stuff. It can serve us well. It served me well and serves me well. I have utmost respect. And I, I, I think they all have the right to exist and have value, you know, so if, if done right, <laughs> right. So listen, love yourself now, love who you were, embrace it all. It all gets folded into who you are and it helps make sense of who you are now. You wouldn't be who you are right now. You wouldn't be the one questioning everything right now, unless you'd been through everything that you'd been through. So that's my little uh, word of encouragement for you today. And, uh, you know, check, check my stuff out. And you'll see it all rotates around that one theme that you can create a new life for yourself beyond belief. I totally believe it. So we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for listening. Okay, bye.